Last night when uh, we were doing shows at the comedy store, Sam Tripoli and Eddie Bravo cornered me, and we started talking conspiracy theories. They got some points, man. They got yeah. some points. Everybody always slowly points. converting a little bit. You're getting, getting I was all the way over here. Like, wasn't no there way. a Jim Morrison conspiracy? You're talking about Laurel Canyon conspiracy theories. Yeah, now, I'm reading a book on that. A lot of that's God. What to make it? coincidences, bro. Uh huh. It wasn't just a pocket of creativity. No, where people were moving there because well, everybody else was moving there. Well, no, because all of them have military ties. All the parents do. All of them were, and so and, did the military write together. those songs or no? The military didn't write songs. So they helped them though. Song. Helped them what? Well, they're all there. All the families are there in the same area. Yeah, and they had their own. Uh, they had their own production. Mm -hmm. And 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 they they didn't get popular because they were genius songwriters. No, no, that most of them didn't even write their own songs. Uh, who did the government? No, I don't think the government wrote. No, they didn't. I can tell you that because no. nobody in that government is that creative. No, you better shut up right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, there, no, there is. There's some. There's some weird stuff there. What's there's some weird, weird stuff. What, what would be weird? How they're all so the Laurel Canyon, the hippie movement, yeah, in yeah. Laurel Canyon, 1968. Yeah, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, Neil Young, all those guys. All of them. All yeah, but them what happens there. is when there's a group of people. Hendrix lived there for a little while. Uh, Jim Morrison lived there for a little while. Yeah, they all. You're, Mamas you're, and the Papas. Yep. So Mamas and Papas, Jim Morrison's, yeah. both dads served sure. same military, Navy, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just saying it's weird. They went to everybody back a lot then went to high military. school. There was a, there was a that's, draft. When I'm reading, I'm like, yeah, but the, back then was a heavy military. But there was influence. a draft. That's right? what I'm saying. Yeah. So a lot of them would be military. Yeah, it's a little weird, and it's fun to talk about. Yeah, it's fun. To talk I'm not about. I'm not sold on this. I you know, but what I'm saying there is a little. It's kind of strange how all those bands back then came from the same place. All parents were in the same military. Oh, I didn't know that. All yeah, the hippie culture was uh, developed. Well, what's there. the idea behind the conspiracy? Well, isn't that when wasn't the government introducing the t psychedelic drugs at that time? Correct. That's that's that, that's they were the ones that well, led the, led, led the, the, the movement of they, the hippies. They created got, the movement, but yes. you know, you know, it destroyed. They you know, it the destroyed the hippie movement, right? And, and that, so after Haight Ashbury, so there was this renaissance of amazing music, right? And it was psychedelics, and then what destroyed the music? And they've been a great documentary on this was heroin and cocaine, especially heroin. Once heroin came in, people like Lou Reed, who were so talented and so promising, the Pogues and all these people. And there's another book called The Dark Stuff, written by Nick Kent. And it just fucking, it, it's, it's when the music died. It killed the music because mm. so many young people, Janis Joplin, so talented, dead at 27. Hendrix, all in dead at so 27. revolutionary, dead at 27. 27. Jim Morrison, phenomenal. You think, dead all, that's well, how old you think all that's a coincidence? 100%. They all died at 27? Of course. And of all came from all, the same area. They're all drug addicts. And all came from the same yeah, area. Yeah, they're all drug addicts. They all were so so all of Wait, them, how old was Jim? All of them 27. were copying. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Twenty seven and wasn't into music. And so was so was a Kurt Cobain. And all of them, all of them basically were Ooh. had been doing drugs for a long time. But back then, remember, they were copying the a lot of them were copying their heroes like Charlie Parker and some of the blues musicians from from Billy Holiday to everybody else who were already doing a lot of uh, heroin. So it was like cool to subscribe to having a But drug also problem. the hippie well, a lot of people think the hippie movement started in uh in Ashbury in San Francisco. In Ashbury? It, it didn't though. It started in Laurel Canyon. Yeah. No way. Yeah, oh yeah. Probably. You're blowing my no, mind. No, it right did. Now. It started there. Because it was such a creative and was, place. It, and, and what they would do is Where in Laurel Canyon? Are you reading nineteen sixty eight, that book? No. It's a great book. I mean a Laurel Canyon Wait, am I tripping theaters. right now, but where? In Laurel Canyon, just in the canyon, like so in you the know houses? the road, yeah, yeah, in the houses, and you know the market, the Laurel Canyon market, yeah, yeah. that's where Kirkwood, one of the main guys Kirkwood owned. Kirkwood. Yeah, I know exactly. And his what son died there. It's yeah. crazy. You should shit. read uh, and 1968. And Charles it's Manson. a great book. And what? Charles Manson, yeah. yeah. Read 1968. It's a great book, man. Really great book. I got it. Now I got to go to that store. It's so fun. I always pass that store. Oh, dude, that's why I was driving down there, and then uh, because um, and it looks like something that, now that you said that. Yeah, it looks like something from that. I got a lot of own stores there, and it's it's because I always drive down there, so yeah. I love driving through and knowing the yeah. history. Of it was everybody would come. That's so if you cool. were a musician, and that's Houdini, where you, Houdini had a house there that it, burnt down. If you were a musician, Charles that's where Manson, you, you wanted to live there. If you were a musician, Charles that's Manson where you lived go. down Lower yeah. Canyon. That's there was a migration crazy. of musicians who were young and hungry, and they all went there, and some of them all lived in the same house at one point yep called the one. cabin uh-huh what yep. this is blowing my mind i love yeah. this and then the, the cia the, and this is this isn't conspiracy be cia has a huge complex in laurel canyon that that had its own producing studios and everything and a lot of music came out of there which is what a lot of their music a lot of their music came out of there see that's what ties this like it's together. a little weird but the only thing so now that's gone right you know who owns it jared leto he bought it he owns the entire complex of laurel canyon oh, nice. that the cia He's, their buildings Jared Leto is clearly CIA. I'm not saying no. It'll be. I'm, I'm not Eddie Bravo. I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying 
with you look at the history of the CIA and Laurel Canyon, all the bands that came out of there, all all the bands' dads that were connected to the military. Well, you got to remember and also they all went to elementary CIA, together. It's yeah. weird. But you got to remember and how Jim Morrison was in the music at all. Mm. You got to remember CIA. I mean, the, the Dolph hippie Tomkin, movement. Hippie hippie was it? No. no. But this the, is who, crazy. Who was Jim this Morrison blowing my mind right now. Like a no. genius <laughs> magician. I love this shit, bro. <laughs> and here, here's the other. I thing. will fall in a conspiracy oh, wormhole, and I will stay up. Me too. Me too. But I don't go full into it. The only thing with Jim Morrison that that is strange with it too is so he started to explode and people worked on his looks because he did have like a mil he was in the military so he had super military cut right so he started to get all the hippie movement and then he they would do live shows off sunset well he can't really like he's not a great singer a lot of his uh, guys can't even play the guitars very well so the live show sucked dick so his albums were great because a lot of it was you know bells and whistles that Papa, they did Papa, in the studio. can i just tell you something whoever's telling you this no this is, is a book is crazy I, i'm just telling you in other words in other words jim morrison i i can show you live performances i've watched him he was unbelievable as a yeah. front man and so talented for sure jim morrison and and the doors were insane hey, no b you, you're missing the point yeah. so you're getting defensive i'm not i'm not getting defensive, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a conspiracy theory. i'm saying when he first started out all the bands they couldn't sell tickets because well, the performance was so bad. Sure, they were younger and they learned how to do it. But but if you if you look at like how, I mean, they and were just and what so else is weird is Jim Morrison interviews would say his parents are dead. He didn't want any association with. So his the hippie dad movement the though was so subversive, right? So Ooh. so the FBI and CIA, th there was a real fear that there was a like a communist. There were communes. So there there was a real red scare. Remember, this was during the height of the Cold War. Yeah. So there was a real concern that our youth were being corrupted by communist ideology, drugs, and all those things. So the CIA and FBI and, and the establishment found them very threatening. And then it culminated with fucking uh, our boy Charles Manson killing all those people and trying to start a race war. And that created such a paranoia because we re that people realized this shit's real. You got hippies on psychedelics, it, that's where reefer madness and all this shit came along and it was like we got to put a stop to this what, what's crazy to me with charles manson is he has like he was a legit singer like he oh, yeah. he, he got in with the with the you so know, he was part you ever hear he was all music? part of the music sound thing he, yeah. he lived with the with the beach boys they actually were going to sign him a deal when he got turned down by the record company mm -hmm. that's when he went crazy mm -hmm. that's when he's like oh, i'm gonna start killing people he was a good looking dude young good looking fucking kid Small, but like you know, five four, crazy. Yeah, but sexy. And they had music. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was sexy, but <laughs> look him up. Look at young. He looked like shit. Good, no, good before looking guy. The, I disagree. Before the swastika. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Watch this. Tell me if he's not a handsome. Five four. I would never say he thought he was handsome. No. Keep going. Mm. No, that. Not a so bad that'd, be, that'd be him in the middle when he was doing all the crazy shit. Not a bad looking guy. Not good, Brian. No, not good at all. Nah, girls liked him. I wouldn't give him a deal. Look him there. Come on. Look at his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he's not bad looking not good Long no, not hair. good at all he's very charming he made girls do a lot of drugs and he'd pretend he was jesus very yeah. crazy man and he was jesus and that's the one thing i want to say <laughs> but the, the guy who was the leader of the Sorry. hippie movement they said him and charles manson when they do the comparisons it's crazy he did the same thing and they all promoted underage sex and it's nuts man there's a lot of fun back then a lot of fun well, that was well that was um um, um, Meyer Lansky. Uh, no, um, not Meyer Lansky. Um, who's the great director who had sex with the, the 13 year old? Uh, not Pinsky. Oh, uh, yeah. Roman, uh, Polanski? Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski. Yeah. 13 year olds. In, I think it was in Laura Canyon, wasn't it? And Correct. They were in a hot tub. They got her high, had sex with her, and uh, she was 13. He found out he was going to jail for a long time. Fled the country. And fled the country. Ooh. There was a lot of fucking they went on. A lot of Well, th that hippie movement, they, they said they the hippies would, so the doors or whoever would play at these random clubs off Sunset. And that guy, I forget his fucking name. He's he's just like Charles Manson, but wouldn't kill people. Crazy as fuck. He'd bring the girls there, and they loved because those girls were dancing and were dressed like hippies. No one saw before, so a bunch of people would come to the shows mm -hmm. to watch the girls, yes. not the band. So that guy was always constantly fucking nonstop. So he was just a lot. Fucked. There was a lot of fucking that went on. Big old bushes too. <laughs> <laughs> Big old seventies bushes. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, yeah. Drugs and bushes, bro. Drugs, Drugs and, bushes. and bushes. Drugs and bushes. Drugs, Drugs and, bush. and bushes. Drugs and bushes. Yeah, Drugs man. and bush. That was a good band, by the way. Drugs, Drugs and bush. Yeah, D and Just Drugs D &D. and Bush. Let's start a band, you guys. Seriously. Oh, my God. I would love that. My buddy, Dead Serious, he was so crazy. Johnny, he would go. He was so amazing. And he, we're driving. And he's like 50 at the time. And I'm like, I don't know, 37. And we're driving. And he goes, Dead Serious. He goes, 
we should start a band. Yeesh. And I go, that's a really good idea, Johnny. Yeah. What would you play? He goes, I would sing. And I go, what would I do? He goes, I don't know. You move around. <laughs> move around. Play the fucking tambourine. I want to start a band with both of you. Dude, you, you know, Let's just go into Guitar Center. <laughs> Just go in there, not knowing anything. You just don't go, plan. You don't oh, start a band. No, you, you know, know I like to do some equipment. You know I like Tambourines. to do. I like to go in a guitar center. I used to do this in college. I go in there, I grab the guitar, and just I'm like, Dad, this thing's fucking sweet, man. <laughs> I just pretend I know what I'm doing. I just grab different guitars. I wish I could do that. You I can. Wish I, wish I could play the piano. I tell you this right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch your tone. Uh, okay. What's gonna happen? What are you gonna do? Use some of that. <laughs> Boxing you've been doing? Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking disrespect. <laughs> hey. Hey.